Okay, now we're going to show you our stuff sack. This is simply an accessory bag. Uh, it works great for big bulky raincoats, um, as well as things like uh, even tripods. I'll carry my spotting scope in this sometimes, but we've built it to connect directly to our packs so that you can't lose your expensive rain gear. It also keeps it organized and you don't have to worry about the sleeves falling out. It's still made out of our uh, quiet material, same stuff our packs is made out of. Okay, now we're gonna show you how our stuff sack attaches to virtually any one of our packs. You've got the two belt loops here on the stuff sack. And on most of our packs, you have these two cargo straps, whether it's gonna be on the front, some of the other style of packs like our Yukon or a Kodiak, it's actually gonna set on top of the, uh, the backpack. You've got these two straps in that position. Um, but it allows you to add this stuff sack to virtually any one of our packs that way. The mistake most people make with uh, connecting the stuff sack is they will take these two cargo straps and just simply run the strap through the belt loop like this and then connect it and then it sits there and flops around on you and slides around creates a lot of noise and it's uncomfortable and it's not very tight against your back what you want to do with it is be sure when you connect it that you wrap these straps all the way around the stuff sack itself the straps are built long enough that they will wrap around the entire bag so you simply stretch those straps out connect them here on both sides. And you can really cinch this down. And as you can see, it creates basically one big bag. It turns the stuff sack into part of your backpack. As you can see, it when it shifts around, it's moving the entire bag, um, the entire backpack. It's It all becomes one pack. It's a lot more solid, and it's not going to flop around, creating the noise, and it'll be a lot more comfortable for you on a long hike.